This video was made possible thanks to EA Game Changers. Hello guys, Antoine here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to a new video. So today we are uh, building something using the new expansion pack, Eco Lifestyle. And have to say I'm quite excited um, because I will tell you a bit more later in the video, but this is a really good pack. So um, as you will notice, I'm not building any new world because I still didn't tried the gameplay, so the world is still very dirty, full of uh, stuff everywhere. It doesn't look good right now, so I just decided to build something in Newcrest. But the aim of this video was also to show you all the new objects, new uh, building items that we get. And that's why I'm not going to talk too much about the house, but rather about um, the new content that we got. So I have to admit that when the first trailer was released uh, of this new expansion pack, I was not really excited about it. I was like, um, okay, like no one asked for that. And I just don't know if I'm, um, I would be into such a gameplay, such a concept. And yeah, of course, as a game changer, I had an early access to this game. Um, and I was able to try it, uh, or just for the moment, I just tried um, build and buy mode. And just for that, let me tell you, this pack is really, really worth it. So if you're into modern or contemporary architecture, this is probably um, the best pack, really. Um, we have a lot of new windows, doors, um, yeah, I mean, just the doors and windows, <laughs> there's so much to say. Um, we have huge doors, uh, sliding doors that are just beautiful. Uh, big windows with different um, texture and depth, which looks really amazing. We have new roof items like solar panels, but also new patterns, including uh, grass, but also this kind of container pattern to give a kind of recycle look to your house. And this is what I did for this build. By the way, I used this kind of uh, container pattern in wood. Um, and yes, it's just very cool. So just for the doors and windows, you should consider buying this pack. Uh, it was really something missing in this game, I think. And now we have them and I, I know I will use them in a lot of builds, so just for that, it's really worth it. But that's not it. Uh, we also have a lot of new items uh, for the um, buy mode. We um, have pretty much all the categories except the kitchens, which is a little bit frustrating, I would say, because um, yes, I always, I always want new kitchens in The Sims. Um, but other than that, we have a lot of items for uh, the living room, for the bedroom, for the bathroom. There are a lot of new, um, uh, how do you call that? Oh, I have the word in French and in German, but not in English. Anyway, this kind of, I don't know, tables you can hang on a wall. You know what I'm talking about, and that's not what it's called. But, you know, we have a lot of them. We also have new um, tables, end tables, coffee tables, sofas, armchair, which are just beautiful. Some of them look very luxurious and modern. Some of them look rather like a bit um, upcycle, if I can say. So they're, yeah, two different styles in this pack. Um, a very slick and neat kind of furniture which is, which looks rather modern than uh, recycle and we have the other side the, uh, the other aspect of the game which is about recycling things and some objects just match with this and they're so 
yeah they're also very beautiful so yes uh you will see in the bill i tried to use as many items as i could from this pack uh i didn't use all of them because um yeah the house itself is not that huge so i couldn't use everything but in other builds i will try to use some other objects you can also check on youtube uh many building by reviews i plan to do one but but as the um, yeah the um, sorry <laughs> the update was postponed uh yeah i just kind of destroyed my plan and also because some of us game changers had an early access to the early access <laughs> so actually there were building by reviews uh, a long time ago so i think it didn't really much sense to to do another one so feel free to check out um i think simproved did a really good building by review so yeah i'm just focusing on building and so you can see how you can use the objects uh in a real situation and to be honest, I'm very happy with the way it looks. Um, you know, I, I, I built a lot of historical building, but sometimes I like to switch and go for something a bit more modern. And I know that all these items will be used for my modern builds because they're amazing. Um, this is actually all the good points I would have to tell about this pack. Um, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay because once again, I didn't try it really. Um, what I like also is um, the fact that we have many swatches, many colors that match together. So it's cool. Of course, there's always some objects that don't match. And yeah, that's just a pity, but we're used to it. Um, the only... Well... Um, bad side of this expansion pack if it's one uh, is that i think we don't have much patterns uh, i mean floors and wall papers uh, i think we don't have a lot we have like um two floors like two wooden pattern and also a concrete pattern i think if i remember well uh and like five six floor um wall papers which, which are very beautiful, but I think it would have, be, would have been cool to have more. Um, but yeah, with the base game wallpapers, you can, you know, you can mix them and in the end it looks pretty cool, but it would be the only bad thing about this pack, um, I would say. Yes. And also I, I took time to explore the world, the new world that we have and i just forgot the name of this world and i'm really bad at remembering the names of the world like i always want to call willow creek sunset valley even though it was in the sims 3 anyway um the world looks beautiful really um and it's very interesting because it's very different from the other world that we have um so mine is still very dirty full of um garbage stuff everywhere so have to work on it to make it beautiful and eco-friendly but it's very interesting very new refreshing so if you're really into gameplay i think this pack is perfect for you because it will bring a lot of new possibilities interactions and what is cool also is that we have finally apartments outside of san my Shuno. so one of my next build is gonna probably gonna be an apartment uh, in one of those residences we have two new residences and each have two flats two apartments um, so yes that's very cool uh, we also have some housing lot normal lot um, and once again the bad side of this is they're pretty small um, we don't have like a 64 by 64 lot, which is something I always need uh, because you know how crazy I get when I build something. It usually ends up being a huge build. So 64 by 64 is very useful. You don't feel limited when you're building. Um, yes, I wished we had a 64 by 64, but it's not dramatic. And also, um, 
you know, if you're eco-friendly, you're not supposed to build huge mega mansion. So it, it definitely makes sense to not to have such huge lots um, because being eco-friendly is more. Yeah, actually, it goes with tiny living. I think. Um, I think you cannot be sustainable or eco-friendly if you live in a huge manor. It just doesn't go together. So yeah, it makes sense. Even though I'm a bit frustrated we don't have a new 64 by 64 lot because you are probably fed up with seeing me always building on the same lots. But I will try to do uh, more builds on more various lots. So I will tell you more in the next videos about um, this game pack which is an expansion pack, sorry, I always mix the two names. This is an expansion pack, um, believe me, it's an expansion pack really, there are a lot of new content. Um, yes, I'm excited to do more videos, I already have ideas of what I want to do. Um, there will be an apartment for sure and probably other stuff. And yes, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to tell me in the comments what you think about this house, what you think about this new expansion pack, if you feel like buying it or not. And yes, I would be happy to answer you. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.